Hello, my wonderful people. This monkey's got deep pockets today. Only the most expensive upgrade paths for you. You are visiting castle, after all. Okay, so let's get going here. We get $150 for this one. Fan for fantastic. This one's probably not going to be too hard. Though the main issue is going to be I don't know which upgrades are available. I do know that, um... Well, I can kind of guess most of the upgrades that are available. For example, I know that the Ninja Left Side upgrade is going to be extremely useful for us. I also think that the Dark Monkey upgrades are going to be extremely useful for us. <gasps> no! How is the right side more expensive than the left side? That doesn't even make any sense. Well, I guess it does, maybe a little bit. Because the last two upgrades are like two grand or so. Goodness gracious, man. These just sound. This just seems absolutely ridiculous. So at least we get Dark Monkey. Man, that's going to be a huge help for us to get Dark Monkeys. This is also on hard, so we have 85 rounds of the castle today. Crazy talk, man. We deserve every single ounce of that $150 right there. So just thinking about it, the castle just by itself is usually really, really difficult. And then on top of that, having to deal with these weird towers. And not, like, it's just not that weird. It's just, a lot of times, good towers are only good because they're like 2-2 two, two or 3-2. Three, you know, like a 3-0 usually isn't that good in both situations. For example, a boomerang. If you get a 0-3 boomerang, yeah, he shoots really, really fast. Excuse me, shoots really, really fast, but uh, his popping power is just kind of awful. So yeah, we're going to have a hard time today for show, man. Maybe I should have got an engineer. I just don't remember which side would be more expensive. I think that the right side would be more expensive for sure because you got that weird upgrade that cost like twelve thousand dollars to get that bad boy so he's probably not that good because most of the good engineer upgrades are on the left side oh my god anyways i'm actually a bit surprised that we're still no left lost in this one so far uh the ninja is su surprisingly good i like him and if you're no wondering why the heck do i have so much money saved up farms 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 gonna get a billion farms, so we do get the left side upgrade perfect for the farms, and that's really what's come, gonna come down to, my friends. We need to get a lot of farms on this level, otherwise, we just ain't gonna make it in the late game. Also, I'm probably gonna end up spamming quite a few spike factories in here, just because I feel like they'll be somewhat helpful. Also, no lives lost is not something that I'm worried about, I'm just worried about beating this level, man. Just beat it. Submarines, right side again, I think, uh. Actually, Herber Starts might not be that bad an upgrade to get. So let's think about doing one of those bad boys. One little submarine right here. What? Ooh. Ooh, we can cheat a little bit. <laughs> the submarine didn't exist when this mission came out, and we're allowed to use the submarines. So we're allowed to use every single upgrade on that submarine. Oh, would you fancy that, man? So I'll get the Barb Earth upgrade first. I'm not going to be spamming submarines because I know that's kind of cheap, but I am going to probably use them just a little bit. Also, I do need to get my spike factory up. I might even trade my ninja for a spike factory fairly soon. Uh, I think it's well worth it, so let's do it. Boom, and get a spike factory. I think that's a good enough spot. Seemingly, yes. Yes, it is. By the way, the sound has stopped, of course. Of course, it does not work. I don't know why it does not work. It just does not work. I have green eggs and ham. I would still really like to get that Herbra Starts upgrade, but I think I'm going to go for a farm first. Based mainly on the fact that Spike Factories are freaking amazing. On the castle, for some reason, they're just really, really good. Plus, I mean, this uh, submarine doing a surprisingly good job at killing all the regular balloons. I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy with his uh, performance so far. Alright, so we got a bunch of farms going on right now. Oh my goodness, look at those bananas rolling on it. Nom, 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 nom. Though 18 could be a little bit difficult, uh, depending on how many spikes we get built up by the time that big group of greens comes in here. Also, a sniper? I don't know. I don't think I am going to go for a sniper. Normally, I would go for a sniper on this level, but today it just not, does not seem like a feasible way to kill these balloons very well. I think, honestly, a balloon chipper is probably better. Put a freaking balloon chipper right here. Bam, put them on strong. It'll keep them uh, all busy so we can get whatever pop power that I have already there even better. Also, I might be able to... I do, I can cheat with the blue chipper as well. Though, I think the left side would be more expensive anyways, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much. It's just kind of nice to know that I can cheat a little bit. <laughs> I'm such a cheater. I thought the blue chipper existed in mobile all the time, though. Eh, whatever. Whatevs, man. 
Look at that, we are officially rank 69. A lot of people will probably make jokes about that. It's okay if you want to make jokes about that, that's totally fine. I don't know why people like to make such big jokes about that, just, it's kind of silly. It's more of an immature thing, I suppose. Immature little kiddos. Alright, so we got leads coming out in the next wave here. we got to be kind of careful, because uh, there's a couple ways that I can... Oh! Oh my! Oh my! Oh, oh my. I was not expecting those balloons to be so deadly. I should have expected that, yellows. But we're going to get the suckier and heavy duty suction. That's a weird way to get most of your lead popping power, but it does actually surprisingly work out pretty well. I'm also going to get airburst starts fairly soon. It's $810, but I think I can get it right now, and hopefully we can pop most of these regular balloons. I'm also going to get another airburst starts on the other side, actually. So this balloon trooper is indeed on strong for a bit. But I'm going to keep on farming just a little bit more. Again, mainly late game action is what we're worried about, my friends. We need to get them all going. So how's your guys like that? I could say that I'm actually kind of bored lately. I have not had that much going on in my life. Uh, I've been playing a lot of video games, just in general. The Last of Us. Uh, I was actually thinking about doing some sort of The Last of Us uh, walkthrough on my other channel, Super John Bobo 3. On the hardest difficulty, I think it was just kind of fun to do. Anyways, no cam detection at the moment. Let's do this. One, two, three. Oh, that's not cam detection. Let's do this. Let's get the bigger stacks instead. Bigger stacks can stop any and all camos on level 33 and usually 37 and actually surprisingly can do a big chunk of damage on 42 as well. Those are the three main camo levels that are usually a pretty big issue. And now that I have four farms up to second tier, we're going to have to get a little bit more stuffs. Uh, what are we going to get, man? I'll get another one of these triple darts. Again, the balloon chippers. I think, honestly, balloon chippers are one of the best support towers in the game. Even better than ice towers, because uh, balloon chippers have no uh, lasting effects, really. Where the ice towers, if they freeze things, then the only towers that can pop frozen balloons can do stuff. So cannons, and random boomerangs, and stuff like that, those, and wizards. You know, those are the guys that do the main chunks of damage. We're going to start getting some pretty big issues coming in here pretty soon, guys. Be careful, man. Be careful. Lots of lead balloons. I actually should get a wizard. Also, like I said, I'm probably going to get some more Spike Fact reaction coming on. Let's do that. So we're going to get a wizard. Oh, no. Oh, no. Got a Monkey Sense wizard, but... Yeah, I wanted a lightning. But it's right. They're so right about everything. It's all good, though. We'll also get a mortar. Let's see what kind of mortar can we get. Bigger blast. I'm okay with that. Even though it's not burning stuff, at least it's exploding things. It really doesn't matter where the heck we put it. But now for level 40. We should be able to actually take down level 40 pretty easily. Uh, with two balloon chippers, man, this Remix 10 got nothing on us. What's uh, the most expensive sniper? Oh, that's a good idea. We can get eight. No, not really. Snipers are not very helpful either. Oh, man. There's nothing good we can use today. Cannons. I can use a cannon, but, like, those aren't even that good. What do I want to do? I can use a Spectre. That's kind of expensive, though. Better, better wait on that. Late game, I'm probably going to end up spamming a lot of specters, believe it or not. No, it sounds kind of silly, but I think it'll be quite effective. I think the best thing to do for now would be to get a fairly high-level spike factory. Even though it's not going to shoot really, really fast, at least he's going to have some big, good ceramic killing power spikes. Also, I'm probably going to have to get some other cam detection, whatever the heck I can get. So here we go. We got spike, spike ball factory. That's pretty helpful. Um, camera detection, man. I don't know. Should I go for the monkey ace, though? He's really not going to be that effective in the early game here. Oh, I suppose. Why not? We'll just put him in the middle here. Go whoop. And he's not going to be any camera protection either. Holy crap. I have zero camera protection right now. I really don't have anything. What am I going to do? I'm going to have to spam road spikes. That should be enough, I hope. More than enough. But it's just silly. It's so silly. Okay, um... Camo detection. Boats? 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 Nope, nope, no camo detection boats. Snipers, I'm pretty sure they can, but like... No, they can't. They can't, they can't hit camo either. What the heck are we supposed to use for camo? I guess we gotta use a monkey village. 
Oh, thank goodness. We do. We get the Monkey Village Camo Detection thing, so that's how we're going to kill the Camo in the late game. At least we figured something out. And here we go. We got four third tier farms. Woo! A lot of people argue about uh, getting the fourth tier farms and just selling the third tier farms. And even though that is more effective, I totally agree. In most of my videos, I just don't feel the need to do it. I don't feel like I'm about to lose the game. And even though it is, again, more effective, I'm just not feeling super afraid of them. But for this next level, for sure, we gotta get our balloon chipper going. Dual blades, and we gotta get that balloon chipper. Balloon chipper. You know, the, the big Moab chipper. Chip him up. Punch him in the face, chip him in the face, chip his knees down to nothing, and then uh, jab him in the eye with the paint chipper. I mean the balloon chipper. Yeah, we're not talking about people here. We're talking about balloons, guys. Don't, 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 don't go too crazy on me. Honestly, I feel okay about this, Moab. Not too afraid. And since I have two uh, blue chippers as well, the ceramics on these next few levels should not be bad either. But the camo balloons, those are pure evil. So we're going to have to do something about that. We're going to get the radar scanner, and I'm going to put a few random road spikes, and we are all good, I think. Now I have at least a decent amount of camo detection. Even the mortar is technically camo detection, even though it's kind of weird to have a mortar like that. Alright, um, this one is going to be fairly ch Oh, it's not going to be cheap, but it's not in the range, no! The Monkey Fields range seem like they're so small. So small lately. Alright, it's 49. How are we going to do on level 49? Honestly, I feel the same way as the past few levels. I feel like we're going to do okay. But I still should get something else. S like a can. Oh! Oh my! The right side is more expensive than the left side? Really? I guess so. I mean, that just sounds a little bit weird. I'll get one super monkey as well, right here. And then I'm going to start saving up for my uh, fourth tier stuffs. Super monkeys, even though they're not that much popping, but I do have a monkey village next to them. And uh, holy crap, that's a lot of balloons. Holy crap. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. I was not expecting to almost lose to get to those random ceramics. Wowzers. Very, very difficult making me think about outside the box about these things, and I'm still not even thinking outside the box because I'm just still losing the game. Not thinking outside the box enough. So here we go, finally going to get the banana research facility. And again, I feel like, holy crap, monkeys, these ceramics are absolutely ridiculous. Another, hopefully, reasonably easy level. We really need an easy level right now. No, no. And I hate getting left-sided uh, spike factories. I really do. All the way up to uh, fourth tier in the bubble version. They're they're horrible. They're horrific. But I really don't mind the third tiers. Uh, they're pr they're pretty decent. But we got more mobs coming out, of course. And of course, more ceramics on top of that. So that's why all these spike factories are not necessary, but definitely helpful and make me feel just gooey and safe on the inside. Should probably get another blue chipper while I'm at it. For the fourth tier blue chipper. Because if a, a full bob leaks through there, I don't know, the spikes will probably be able to deal with it. Probably. Also, I'm thinking about a Spectre Priest. It's only going to take me a few rounds to get that bad boy. And he'll be cam protection and pretty much infinite balloon pop power. So that'll just make me feel good. So there we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Lots and lots of balloons, of course. Level 54. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have like no balloon popping power up there. Goodness gracious, look at those spikes. Doing a good job. Alright, um, instead I will go for a plasma blast first. Instead of saving up all the way for a specter. I know that's fantastic, but the plasma is just obviously necessary. Because I don't have any range up I don't have any range upgrades either for him, so it's like, eh, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll get another submarine as well. He's got advanced intel and all that good stuff. So, yeah. You know what? Let's do that. Let's get a few submarines. Just like two or three submarines. Nothing crazy. We'll get four. Four submarines. All with advanced intel. All with the ridiculous stuff. Go one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And one, two. One, two. And... Oh, my God. We're almost there. One, two. And one. And... Oh! <gasps> I just choked. <coughs> oh, my God. spit. <coughs> oh, my God. It's terrible. But we're all good. Well, good guys. So we got these bananas in the mobile version. Still really, really freaking. Good. Trying to pick them all up. Thinking about just selling them, just so I can get rid of them. I do have a lead camo pop power, kind of, a little bit. 
but I'm a little bit afraid. I know the mortar is is cam mo camo lead popping power as well. Uh, I just hope that I have enough camo detection in the back, but I do have inv advanced intel as well, which yeah, I think will be fine. Hopefully, hopefully. Unless one random cam. Actually, we got we got the spike factory in the back. I wasn't even thinking about that. We're almost up to the specter, seventeen thousand five four hundred dollars. But we have Brug level coming out next. Check this out. Whoop, 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 whoop. And we do afford it. Sweet. So Spectre, all these balloons. No problem. No problem. Check this rock sauce action out. Alright, so we got another hard level coming up. 63. Uh thinking, thinking again. What what do I think about, guys? Uh what do I get? What do I do? So change up my strategy at all? You know what? I'm gonna get another one of these balloon shivers. Even though it's weird and not good for level 63. I uh, will get a few more balloon chippers here as well. I feel like the Spectre should be able to take them down. And the balloon chippers will just slow them down just a little bit if they really want to. You know? Hopefully they do. There we go. And we should be alright. Check it out. Yep, right at the very beginning. The balloon chippers again. Rocking. Rocking them up. And I'm not even using the left side of balloon chippers anyway, so it's not really it's not really cheating. It's just that when they made this mission, they really didn't think about people using balloons. They didn't have balloon chippers yet, I think. Right? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Pretty, I, I don't remember. I know the mobile version's been out for a while. I just can't remember if they had balloon chippers when it first came out. How come I can't remember these things? It's probably because... I don't know. I don't know. We'll just leave it at that. We'll leave it, leave it alone. Kind of like we should leave Chris alone sometimes. Sometimes I just need my alone time. No, I really do though. I just, I don't know. I'm not a party guy. You know, I don't. I don't like to go to parties and be in social situations. Like, I when I went to uh, my high school graduation, like walking across the stage was just like I did not want to do that. But they made you. They made you do that. It's really stupid that they make you do that. I don't know why they make you. My parents made me as well, which was kind of lame. But why does the school make you do it? It's like, uh, you could probably get out of it if you really wanted to. Then my college graduation, I did not want to do that either, so I didn't. My mom was a little bit upset about it, but I just don't like being in social situations. Like, it doesn't really matter if I go walk across the stage or not walk across the stage. I'm still getting my degree, you know? That's just the way I feel about it, so I stay out of social situations as much as possible. That also doesn't mean that I don't like having friends. And by social situations, I don't mean me and three or four or five of my friends, you know, sitting down, playing a game, talking, doing whatever. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about big, big social situations. But also, when I'm hanging out with my friends, I don't sit there on my phone the entire time and just do not socialize. I do like to socialize with my friends when I have a few. Alright, how are we doing still? I'm still going to go a few more of these specters. Uh, and then I'm probably going to sell my farms. I Actually, I could probably sell them right now. Let's do it. I don't feel like picking up these bananas anymore. So whoop, whoop. Keep on glowing. Glowing, glowing and flowing and showing. Showing off $40,000, man. $46,000. Holy crap. And one more monkey ace at least. And I'll probably get a sun god as well. But in the back. Oh no, I actually can't afford it. I'll get rid of this one. And I'll put one in the back here. Oh wow, I can't even afford him at all. Holy Jesus. Hopefully those specters just take all, all the... Actually, I don't even have... Oh, I do. Oh, I do. All right. I never really even thought about using Dragon's Breath. When was the last time you guys used Dragon's Breath at all in any game whatsoever? You just don't. You don't use Dragon's Breath. But want to know why it's nerfed so bad? Because a long time ago, when BTD5 first came out, people kept asking me, Chris, why don't you use the Dragon's Breath? It's completely overpowered. Use it all the time. You can beat Boab. You can beat anything you want. And it was true. That was the issue. Even if you go late game, these these fire mages, they just shredded through everything. And it was it was fairly cheap, to be honest. I just I didn't enjoy using those two silly little fire mages. So a lot of my walkthroughs, my really old walkthroughs, my beginning B T D five walkthroughs, which by the way I used music on. I didn't even commentate those. Uh 
never used the, it's not that I never use the fire mage. I just rarely use the fire mage. And I definitely would not spam the fire mage, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I wasn't a spammer. Alright, so our Spectre's doing again their job. I still want to get one more Sun God, and then I'll just feel good about myself, man. Right after that, we really don't even have to build anything, I don't think. Main reason I want to get the Sun God. Well, by the way, we got to be a little bit careful right here. I know four Spectres is kind of delicious, man, but those things can be cray. So I'm going to put them all on a Infinity Path. Why? I don't know. It just kind of looks cool. Plus, the, 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 the way the castle is shaped is just kind of infinity long, you know, it's like wide instead of tall, so usually whenever think anything's wide, you kind of want them to kind of go over where the balloons are going to be, sort of a little bit, so they can get the most poppages out of them. But in general, I feel like they're just exploding everything right in the exact same spot right now, like all, everything gets sucked up wherever the balloon troopers are right in the middle, and that's where the explosions are hitting, and that's just, in general, just a good way to kill everything. Man, we're almost already. I have not played a random mission with 85 rounds in an extremely long time. There's only a couple of them with 85 rounds that uh, I've actually skipped just because I'm like, I don't feel like doing 85 rounds right now. But here you guys go. You guys get a little bit of a treat. By the way, I have like, I don't know what it is, but every, time, every once in a while when I commentate, it's not like right after I eat, but maybe like an hour or two after I eat, I'll get burpy. Like, I'll just keep burping for no reason. Ooh, should look at that. We finally got the first strike. This late in the game, I know, kind of ridiculous. Alright, so I still never even bought the Sun God. I should have done that. should have done that. There's the Sun God. You know what? One set of spiked mines, just because we can. Even though I just said I don't like them. I don't really care. Actually, a destroyer would not be that bad. Honestly, if you get destroyers inside the range of a monkey fort, oh my god, they're amazing. They're a lot more amazing than you could ever imagine. Because think about it like this. Every single just destroy your shot. I think only pops two balloons. So then you're making it three balloons per shot, and that that's just a big change. That's a big change. It pops. And they're not even that expensive. That's one boat that I think is overlooked a lot, is the destroyer. Uh it's even in battles, like nobody ever uses the destroyer. No, we don't. I'm thinking about maybe using some sort of destroyer strategy. I think that'd be kind of fun. That'd absolutely be fun. Oh, yeah. Alright, the last hard level, 85, is going to be... Actually, 85 might be a little bit difficult as well. Uh, because all of my balloon pop and power is kind of... Actually, no, I won't. I keep forgetting about the stupid balloon chippers. They'll shred through the mo Zoma God layer really quick, and then the BFBs, I got four of them, so just gonna slurp them up, spit them out. Instantaneously down and bob and boom spectre action for the win. We've done it, my friends. Leave the random mission. $150. Crazy. That's something you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, throw that like down there. Do it, man. Just do it. And have a super duper delicious day.